Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Big Dog, and we at the end of the year, so y'all already know the end of the year what goes down. Everybody wants to know your top ten, okay? So I got this top ten best movies of 2021 okay i got to see a little bit more movies than i think i got to see last year still not as many as i wanted to see of course i haven't seen everything uh of course this isn't necessarily the best movies just the ones that i enjoyed the most okay and that's enough of that intro uh be on the lookout for my top 10 shows and top 10 worst movies of 2021 by the way uh i'm trying to make sure i get all of those up while we're still in 2021 i don't want any of those videos posted in 2022 uh, until we get to like the most anticipated stuff, but that's enough of that. Obviously, I have reviews for these on my channel. If you want to go hit me, talk about these in more detail. But other than that, we just gonna get right into it with that number ten, Ruoni Kenshin, the final. If you haven't checked this out, this film is on Netflix. It's probably the from the best live action uh, anime franchise there is. Uh, all of these movies are great, and they had two of them come out this year. They had the beginning and the final come out. I can only put one, so I chose the final. It's where Kenshin takes on Inisha, uh, the sister of his uh, love, well, the brother of his uh, once loved uh, love interest, I guess we could say. Go check it out. It's amazing. Fight choreography, all of that. It's the best live-action anime series you're going to see, and it's one, definitely one of the best throughout that series. Uh, next up, we're going to go with number nine, The Harder They Fall. Uh, a, a tremendous black class, black cast, my bad. Uh, I thought everything about this movie was great. I love the stakes. I love the characters. Uh, I love the gunfight, all of that, the way, that, <laughs> the way this transition. It's like, I don't watch many westerns, but this was one I enjoyed front to back. So, yeah, had to put that on the list. Number eight, something that I wasn't necessarily looking forward to, Ghostbusters Afterlife. I'm not huge into the Ghostbusters franchise, but this one is probably like one of my favorite movies of that franchise. Just because, yes, it did play on nostalgia a little bit, but I think I enjoyed the new characters that were introduced. And I enjoyed everything that these kids were going through with one another. And I would love to see this franchise continue. This is how you continue a franchise. Shots fired. If you know, you know. You'll see soon enough. Number seven, A Quiet Place 2. I don't know how they did it again, but they managed to. The first one completely blew me away. I had no idea that the first was going to be as good as it was. So, of course, you know, you know, that's a flash in the pan, you know. Boom, they did it again with this one. Just as good. Just as good. And then, like, they let the kids shine even more in this one. I'm just like, wow. Like, the, the tension, your heart beating the entire time. Even though we have the way of killing these things, it's still difficult. I still like the world that they're seeing. And, I, and, like, we learn more about these aliens and what we can do to defeat them. Let me get that three, okay? I understand we got a spinoff coming. Let me get that three, though. All right? Straight up. Number six. You know I'm a DC guy. Y'all know I'm a DC guy. Okay. That's not that's not act like this is a big secret. The Suicide Squad, baby. Now, y'all know I was thinking like, all right, James, James Gunn at the helm, the Suicide Squad, all these different characters. This movie came out and I think is exactly what we wanted to see from the Suicide Squad. Bunch of crazy shit. People dying left and right, all of that good stuff. Bunch of fun, and it mixed in some really good heart within the characters. It's a dub. It's a dub. Shout out to the DCU. Getting things rolling, people. Next up, number five. I am a sucker for people chasing their dreams, no matter what the circumstances are. And tick, tick, boom is definitely that. Andrew Garfield, we've seen him twice this year. And he's great both times, in my opinion. This one is just something special. We had a few different musicals, and I was battling between three, but this one, I think, is like slightly above those others because I enjoyed just like the journey uh, that he was going through with his friends and the relationship they had. And, and, and it's just, it wasn't all feel good. There was definitely some tough times throughout, but I think the music, the, uh, the dancing, Everything about this was just a joyous uh, a watch for me in general. So, yeah, had to put it on here. 
Next up, we're going to head over to number four and another type of like, you know, show that your boy loves. My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission. Okay, we all know this is my of ongoing anime. This is my favorite, all right? So seeing my boy Deku cut up, it's just something about seeing that boy Young Midoriya cut up, man. It gets me every single time. He's what you want to see in a hero. He's that guy. Okay, and it's perfectly put on display once again. I was so hyped watching this movie. I had some of the most excitement I've had all year in the movie theater when I was watching this. So, of course, it had to go on this list. People, now we have that top three. We have the top three. And y'all know, my favorite actor, my hero, the person I look up to the most in this world, he was going to make this list. He had a movie coming out. It was going to be somewhere on this list. And that is King Richard. Once again, I just said this earlier, but I love when characters chase their dreams. And he didn't let these girls stop. But at the same time, he still wanted them to be the best version of themselves. But also he wanted them to have a childhood. Loved everything about this movie. I cried three times. Three times watching this thing, I thought the performances, not only from Will Smith, but everybody else in this cast was phenomenal, and I couldn't get enough of it, okay? This is the, oh, this was the popcorn maker right here. So, yes, King Richard. Now we're down to the top two. And number two is kind of recent. It's the movie that took the, the world by storm. It's one of the most hyped movies, and one of some of the most views. Uh, on his trailer in YouTube history, just crossed a billion dollars at the worldwide box office, and that is Spider Man No Way Home. This thing played on nostalgia. We got to see the best version of uh, Tom Holland's Peter Parker. We got to see previous P Peter Parkers, and we get to. It, it, this movie felt. You know our end game is the culmination of 22 movies. This one felt like the culmination of eight. Okay, the three Sam Raimi Spider Man, the the, the Amazing Spider Man, and now Tom Holland Spider Man. It felt like this was ultimate completion for all of those stories. And then the way this thing leads us off moving forward in the future, I couldn't have asked for more. Okay, I could not have asked for more. Now. We got to get to that number one. What is number one? What could it possibly be? What 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 movie came out this year that made Big Dogs number one of 2021? That is a movie that I spent eight hours of my day because I watched it two times in a row. And that is Zack Snyder's Justice League. I'm a DC head through and through. A lot of people thought this day would never come that we would see the movie that Zack Snyder wanted to give to the fans, but it did. We had petitions. We had released the Snyder Cut trending on Twitter multiple days a week, and then we finally got it. Warner Brother says, the hell with y'all. Y'all get on my nerves. Here's some money. Zack gonna make the rest of your damn movie get the hell out of my face, and he did, and it released on HBO Max, and it took the world by storm because we all looked at it, and we saw it. This is what we wanted, Zach. This is what we wanted to see. This is the Justice League movie that we asked for, that we prayed for as a DC fan that we always wanted. More character development for all the characters, more time on screen. Cyborg became a star in this one. The emotional weight, dark seeing dark side. Steppenwolf actually being a badass. There's so many things about this movie I can just talk about, but I have a review for it, so it's not needed. But yes, sir, Rebob, Zack Snyder's Justice League is my favorite movie of 2021. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's my list. Drop your top 10, top 5 favorite, doesn't matter, down in the comments below. I want to know what you got, what, what 
you guys saw that maybe that I didn't see or maybe that you just like more than me, let me know down in the comments. I'm really interested to see because top 10 of the year are my favorite videos to watch toward the end of the year on YouTube. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys watch my other two videos. I'm saving like the whole end of the year type talking to them. But uh, like I said, comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. You guys stay safe out there. And I'll catch up with y'all later. Peace.